Hello there everyone and welcome back to another movie review. Today I'm going to be talking about Alita Battle Angel and I'm just going to get right into the story summary so we don't waste time. So the story of Alita takes place in the year, in the 26th century, don't remember the exact year, and it's 300 years after something called the Fall, which is the end of a great war that ended up destroying most of the cities around the world, leaving one called Zalem uh, floating in the sky and everyone converging around it and sort of all of society taking place around this. Beneath Zalem is the Iron City, which is where our story takes place. And um, it is there that a doctor, Dr. Ito, finds the sort of half-beaten up body of a young cyborg girl called Alita. He fixes her up, she wakes up, she doesn't have any memories, and the story sort of follows her on her journey to discover herself and what she can do as someone who has no memories and is waking up in a completely uh, new world. She meets a boy named Hugo, which I will, I'll talk about him later. He introduces who, her to a sport in this world called motorball, um, and that works into the plot in a couple of other ways, and uh, it is their goal to work together to get up to this great city of Zalem up in the sky, um, and I'm not going to spoil anything else because the rest of it is sort of a um, more developed plot. So I'm going to start off with my negatives. And while it might sound like there are a lot of them, and I'm probably going to spend a lot of time talking about them, it is a lot of things that are mostly nitpicky that I sort of had issues with, or that I want to mention that I know other people could find issues with. So first off, and this is the very, very main thing, is this movie has very strange pacing. It is really, really fast at the beginning. And that sort of made me cautious and wary at the beginning, not sure if I was going to enjoy it because it was moving so quickly, and that fast pacing took a lot of emotion, emotional power out of the emotional scenes that were near the beginning because you feel like, oh, I just got here. The characters haven't really done anything yet and they're having emotional scenes. And that also leads to some sort of awkward dialogue that sort of breaks pacing. Um, and that's those issues sort of level out uh, near the halfway point or a little before that. So it isn't, it's more of a non-issue in the second half, but... Um, Definitely something to keep in mind. Um, also, uh, my personal big point is uh, Hugo, the love interest that I mentioned earlier. Um, his actor, don't know his name, but he is just god-awful. He takes all the emotion out of scenes because he looks like he's faking it, and he goes through all sorts of emotional scenes with Alita, and it just doesn't work for me. He, I sometimes have issues with um, certain actors, certain main actors taking power of scenes just because I really can't stand their performances that happened in Unbreakable with uh, the kid, with um, Bruce Willis' son. But, I don't know. That's my personal gripe. Um, so, I don't know what anyone else thinks of him. I just got back from the movie. But, uh, no, I did not like Hugo. Oh, uh, the character was also just kind of cliche and not very great. Um, Finally, and this is another big point, is the fact that there are just a lot of side characters in this movie. The main three, who are Alita, Dr. Ito, and Hugo, are fine. They have their own character arcs. They do their own things. I have my problems with Hugo. But um, there's just a lot of, lot of secondary characters in this movie. They keep introducing new characters, and they keep trying to give... Uh, those characters connections to the main characters and other side characters and give them development and relationships and it just is overwhelming it makes sure that none of them get their do their what's due for them in terms of becoming an actual character that you care about and it just kind of feels messy in the background um and then leading that into my good points is the fact that the main character, Alita, is amazing. There's a lot of great aspects about her. Number one, the CGI. I went into this movie kind of worried about the CGI. Some of my friends saying they didn't think it was so great. But there were very few moments where I thought, oh, that didn't really work, or that felt sort of uncanny valley, trying a little too hard to be human. But I thought the CGI was incredible. It's actually some of the best CGI, especially because she's an almost entirely CGI character, one of the best CGI characters I've ever seen. And 
Uh, she shows a lot of emotion in the sort of overly animated face with the large eyes um, based on the manga that this was based off of. Um, and I enjoy that style. I think it worked really well for the character. And it just really impressed me in a lot of situations, especially where they're able to get such nuanced emotion in her face. And there's a lot more emotion able to be shown with her eyes because they are so large. Um, also, she's just an interesting character. There's a lot of interesting lore tidbits they throw in throughout the course of the movie that I really enjoyed and it keeps me engaged and interested in what the character is doing and how, where she's going in the future. So she has a pretty cool arc and some great story moments, um, especially in flashbacks and things like that. And also, she's just, she's just badass. She's one of the most badass characters I've seen in an action movie and I've seen a lot of action movies, especially because of how chore well choreographed she is. All of the action sequences were her, her in it, which is all of them. I guess there wouldn't really be any reason to not have her in one of them. Um, they're just super fun to watch. She's doing all these kicks and flips and stabs and slices, and it just blew me away every time. You can watch the trailers and see some of the moves that she does with a spin kick flip and kicking two bottles into guys' faces. It's really impressive, and it kept me engaged the entire time, so two thumbs up for the action. Uh, for Alita's action. Um, another thing I want to talk about is the performances. There are three performances that I really enjoyed. Alita, obviously, I already talked about her. Dr. Ito, played by Christoph Waltz, who's great in everything, and he did a great job here. And uh, finally, one of the sort of um, background yet main villains, one of the main many villains that they introduce, um, whose name is Zapan, and he's a uh, bounty hunter rival to Alita, who I just loved his performance. I couldn't tell you who, who uh, played him, but um, I enjoyed his character. I enjoyed the way he bounced off of Lita and some of the scenes they were in together, and uh, another great performance in this movie. Although, unfortunately, all the many, many background characters that I mentioned are kind of just mediocre performances. They don't really show up enough to be characters you're interested in, even when it's the main villain, played by Mahersha Ali, who's obviously a great actor, doesn't get his time to shine or enough development for you to care about them. So there's a lot of characters that end up feeling like that, where it's just like a uh, sort of weird background. Especially, um, Dr. Ito has a nurse assistant who shows up a lot, but she barely says anything. She might have three lines in the whole movie. So that's a weird choice to not to miss a character that could have had a cool relationship with Lita. Whatever. Um, and then, finally, my... One of my biggest points about this movie is just how interesting and engaging the lore and story and world they've built around um, the Iron City and, uh, what's this thing called? Oh, Zalem, sorry. Kind of not super memorable, but um, Zalem, the city in the sky. The, um, the world they've built around it and the lore they keep introducing you to throughout the course of the movie is something I'm really interested in as a sci-fi nerd, and it's got me interested enough to the point where I might want to check out the manga just to be able to read a little more and see what else is in this um, in this world. Uh, it gives you a nice balance of teasing you with uh, enough lore and backstory to what's why the world is the way it is to feel the plot, but it's enough. Or it's not enough. They hide enough to keep you interested and guessing and wondering what could happen next or what happened in the past. Um, so I really enjoyed that. Now, this is not a good point or a bad point. It's just something to think about and something I was thinking about as I walked out of this movie is this movie follows a lot of tropes. It is very much a action sci-fi movie. If you've seen Star Wars and all the movies that sort of tried to do that, um, you kind of know some of the characters, you kind of know some of what they're trying to go through, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It does all these things well, it has enough charm and uh, interest in the main character, Alita, and the world they've created, where I was engaged the whole time, but I was able to notice some of its flaws because I've seen so many sci-fi movies in the past. Now, the reason I don't think this is a, that much of a flaw is because I know, as someone who grew up on sci-fi movies, that if this was one of the first ones I saw, if I saw this alongside Star Wars, it would probably be one of my favorite movies of all time. If this was where I was introduced to the tropes that sci-fi movies sort of follow, I would love this movie. I would be super invested in the characters and probably one of my favorite franchises growing up, if this was one of the first ones I'd seen. So 
I'm interested in newer generations seeing this and growing up with Alita as one of their favorite heroes, and I think that it is good enough to be able to have a franchise and have kids idolizing Alita and playing Alita battles on the playground if they're seeing if that's what they're doing. Um, so, thank you so much for watching, guys. I give um, Alita Battle Angel four to five stars. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. It has its flaws, but uh, I came out of it pretty satisfied and a lot more satisfied than I thought I was going to be because I uh, it's not been getting very great critical reviews, but it seems like the audiences enjoy it, which is in the end really what matters. So, um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please let me know if you see Alita, and I will see you guys in another video.